Today we are going to my cousin's farm for a much needed break from the city and I will take advantage of this time to test out the Canon EOS R5. Since there are a lot of open spaces there, I could take photos of nature, the kids playing and even you know the dogs running around and I'll test the photo capabilities of the R5 because we are actually shooting on another R5 right now there in the farm. So. Let's go. All right, so we're in Kalax now and on the way to the farm. Looks like it's going to be a uh, good day, good weather. So hopefully it stays like this so that, you know, I can take photos outdoors. See you there. So dito may horses na ishoot natin. Yan, sayang, tapos na silang mag field field time, field work. <laughs> Alright, so may isa pa dito kabayo. So ayun yun yung tumatakbo. Yan. Tapos na. Grabe, kasi I set the camera to animal eye autofocus and yeah, as you can see the pictures, naka focus talaga siya on the eyes of the horse. So naka track siya, killing. Also, I'm using continuous high and it's, I believe, some mechanical shutter at 20 frames per second. Kaya tuloy tuloy lang siya and it's amazing na hindi na wawala yung focus sa eye. Alright, let's go there. So, I'm not really a plant or trees type of photographer, but when I take photos of yung mga ganun, alam, I usually uh, try to look for a perspective, an angle na hindi usually nakita when you're just looking around observing. So, try natin. Yun, so with the 70 to 200. You know, kaya natin mag close up, mag punch in, and really focus on you know plants, flowers, and you know what I love about Canon cameras is the color science. Talagang straight out of camera, it's the, the vi it's vibrant. And people know I love to edit photos, but you know having Canon EOS R5, it allows me to just you know immediately share the photos because the color science is really good. Very natural looking. All right, so ito na, I changed my lens to the 24 to 105, so I can use a 24 millimeter to take a photo of the landscape. So, uh, there you go. Now let's try to take a photo of the dogs running and try the. 20 frames per second again of the camera, all right? And animal eye autofocus. All right, so I'm gonna take photos of the dogs and uh, sana mahuli natin sa ito, 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 ito. It's gonna be tricky, but yeah. yeah. Hello. Yun. Alright, so now I'm going to take photos of the kids as they are playing in the playground. Alright? So I'll try to use 20 frames per second as well. Can you do it again? Yeah! Got that! Nice! Hi, Lon! I am on Go. Nice. All right, so this is what I've waited for for the whole day, the sunset. Let's take photos of the sunset. 
there's a little bit of tree so I don't know how this will look because we could actually take this from upstairs but there are trees that are blocking the view so I think this is the best view we have so yeah All right, so that was my time with the Canon EOS R5. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to play around with the video specs of this camera because there is a typhoon that, you know, went into the Philippines. So I was, you know, trying to get the most out of the fairly good weather we were in at that time in the farm. So I decided to focus on the photography specs of the Canon EOS R5. And, you know, I just loved it from the, the animal eye tracking to 20 frames per second in high speed burst mode to even the dynamic range. I know I've said that, you know, Canon colors out of the box, out of the, straight out of the cameras, uh, this is just wonderful, but it also can like I'm gonna show you the before and the after of the photo of the sunset We're in before you can see that it's all black in the grass area But the camera actually takes all of those information in and when you edit it You can let all those colors out uh, in editing all right, so that's it for this video. I hope you like this type of content where I took you behind the scenes of how I took the photos that I post on social media. And if you like more of this type of content related to camera gear, audio equipment, desk setups, and please do follow me on all my social media accounts on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. All right, I'll see you next time.